if there's something that I love, it's shoot 'em ups and collecting shoot 'em ups. And the Nintendo Switch is a really good console to collect shoot 'em ups on. So today we're going to cover 10 shoot 'em ups on the Nintendo Switch. And we're going to be starting with lower end price, um, the price range. We'll move our way up to the higher end price range. So we got some standard editions, collector's editions, limited editions, all that. Um, I will be making multiple videos in this series. I'll be making at least three because I have around 30 or so shooters right now and I th probably will have 40 or so by the time it's all said and done. So I'm going to make multiple of these. There are multiple versions of a lot of these games. A lot of these games got ports to different consoles. They may have gotten different version physical releases on the Switch. I'm not, I may mention those, but I'm just going to for the most part cover on the versions in this video. And like I said, some of those versions will be coming in later videos as well. Um, also, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I'm giving away a new Nintendo Switch for every thousand subscribers that I hit this year, the year of 2021. So make sure you get subscribed so you can get in on that. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start with Fisvariar Delta. And this was released on August 30th of 2018. The game was developed by City Connection and published by Dispatch Games and City Connection. This is a vertical scrolling shooter that is pretty approachable. It utilizes a buzz or grazing system that helps to increase your level. Uh, it's a really solid shooter with a fun score system and a diverse set of ships and game modes to select from. The physical is pretty standard release. Um, I do like the cover art. There is no manual, no art book, or even an insert. There is inside cover art, which is pretty nice. Uh, this game is still available new from Amazon for $30 or less. You can also get a completed listing off of eBay as they range in between $20 to $30. Uh, for the price and quality of gameplay, I would definitely recommend picking this one up. Next up we have the Psycho Collection Volume 1, and this released in September of 2018. It's a collection of four classic Psycho arcade ports. You got Strikers 1945, which was released in 1995 in arcades, and this is the first of four games in the Strikers 1945 series. It's a post-World War II vertical scrolling shooter. You can choose from several different ships, uh, or, and it's just a really, really fun arcade um, shoot 'em up. You also got Soul Divide, which was released in 1997 in arcades. This is a horizontal scrolling shooter. It mixes melee attacks along with shooting. It's probably the most unique game in this collection and also my least favorite of the collection. Then you have Samurai Aces, which was released in arcades in 1993. This is actually the first game released by Psycho, and it's a vertical scrolling shooter. Uh, you got several different characters to select, to select between, which all play pretty differently. This game is known as Sengoku Ace in Japan. Then we have Gunbird, which was released in arcades in 1994. Uh, it's the first of two entries in the Gunbird series. It's a vertical scrolling shooter similar to Samurai Aces and Soul Divide. You can select between characters and not ships. There are several here and they all play considerably different. It's probably known best for its sequel, Gunbird 2, which was released on the Dreamcast. Most of these games, if not all of them, receive ports on the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation 1. The Gunbird PS1 port is known as Mobile Light Force in North America. The emulation for these games is pretty average. Some people don't care for it too much. I think it's, I think it's passable. Um, it's probably not the best way to experience them, but it's playable in my opinion. Uh, there were multiple versions and editions of these games released. This is uh, the multi-language edition from Play Asia. It was published by Arc System Works. It's a pretty standard release as well. The cover art is split into four sections displaying all four games. I don't think it looks particularly good in my opinion. Um, there's no manual, art book, or insert. There is inside artwork which is very similar to the cover art. This game is still available from PlayAsia.com and it sells for $34.99 plus whatever their shipping is and a lot of times you can find this on sale for $27, $28. Completed listings on eBay are ranging right now between $30 to $40.
Next up we have Raiden 5 Director's Cut. Uh, the Switch port released in July of 2019. The Raiden series really needs no introduction as it's more of a your classic vertical scrolling shooter where you control a ship known as the Raiden. Uh, Raiden 5 is a very solid entry in the series and newcomers or returning fans to the series should find good enjoyment here. I believe this is the only edition released on the Switch. This was published by UFO. The cover art is maybe a little bit above average in my opinion. It does also have inside cover art as well, and there's a physical original soundtrack sampler included with the game, and a 30 page art book, which is actually it's a really nice art book in my opinion. This was available from Best Buy and Amazon. Um, I think I got it from Best Buy originally. It doesn't appear to be there now. And completed listings on eBay are going between $30 to $70, depending on if it's new or used or whatnot. And definitely a good addition to the collection. Alright, moving on to Danmaku Unlimited 3. And this was released in March of 2018. And this is a gorgeous vertical scrolling bullet hell shooter that leverages a grazing system for points. Like most shooters, you have multiple different weapon varieties, which adds good variety to the game. The game plays great and looks fantastic, and I can't recommend this one enough. Like if you don't want the physical, then at least get the digital. It's only $9.99 on the eShop. There's only one physical version that I can find and that is the standard edition from Limited Run Games on the Nintendo Switch. This is the 24th Limited Run release on the Nintendo Switch. I'm not a huge fan of the cover art, it's just being honest here. You do have inside cover art and it's just fine, but you know, not, not great neither. It's uh, You get the Limited Run collectible card, a 14 page manual, which is pretty good for, for the size. I think the content in there is pretty decent. And you have to get this one from eBay as it's obviously sold out. Um, it's uh, completed listings are going right now between 38, it's the lowest I can find, to 80 plus dollars. Um, and that's kind of dependent on whether it's new or used. All right, next up is Caladrius Blaze. This was released in July of 2019 on the Nintendo Switch, but it originally released the previous generation back on the PS3 and on the Xbox 360. This is another vertical scrolling shooter with an anime inspired story. There's eight different characters or ships that you can choose from. It's a really nice looking game visually with a lot of content and solid gameplay. It's actually developed by the same game that developed uh, Raiden 5. It plays somewhat similarly. This is a physical version was released in December of 2019. It was published by H2 Interactive. It was limited in quantity, but I can't find how many there actually were. I think it was somewhere between one to 3,000 copies um, from PlayAsia. It comes with a stunning uh, metal slipcase. Uh, this thing is actually really gorgeous. The cover art for the game itself is a step down from the slipcase, but it's, it's still fine. Unfortunately, there is no inside cover art at all no manual or art bark or insert. Still available um, from PlayAsia. You can get it for about $34.99 plus shipping for the, the standard edition. That does not include the actual metal slipcase. So if you want it without the slipcase, you can still get just the physical from there as well. And completed listings on eBay right now are ranging between $45 to $85 for the one with the metal case that I'm seeing. Alright, on to Darius Cosmic Collection. While this has been available in Japan for a few years now, it apparently just released in the North American Nintendo eShop in June of 2020. This contains several of the arcade releases of games in the Darius series. 
uh, you get three different versions of Darius. You get the Darius old version, which was released in 1986, and this is a horizontal scrolling shooter with three screens wide. So this was, in the arcades, this literally had three screens. It was three screens wide. Um, you got the Darius new version, which was released in 1987, and it's essentially a rebalanced version of the original. And then you get the Darius Extra version, which was released in 1987 as well. And this game, it's basically the enemies have less health and gives you more power up. So it's an easier version. Um, you also get the Darius 2, which is a dual screen version, which was released in 1989, the sequel to the original game. Um, you get Sagaya um, version 1, and this is the North American version of Darius 2, with shorter and more difficult stages. And then you get Sagaya version 2. Not really sure the difference between version 1 and version 2, but it's supposed to be extremely rare for whatever it's worth. And then the last and final game or version you get is Darius Gaiden, which was released in 1994. The third game in the series, and it only utilizes one screen. So the series went from three screens to two screens down to, finally, just one screen. And this is the multi-language version from PlayAsia. The game is published by Taito. Um, the cover art is pretty generic, it just splits the artwork between three sections. As uh, the same with Calarius Blaze, there is no inside cover art manual or book, or insert for that matter. This game is still available from PlayAsia. Um, PlayAsia and eBay have similar prices ranging between $50 to $75, uh, if you include shipping and all that. There was also a similar release that had all the console versions of the game. Uh, and there's also some collector's editions that were released as well that we'll cover in a different video. So this one really has a lot of different versions that you can pick up if you're interested. Alright, moving on to Shikondo Soul Eater Limited Edition. This was released in September of 2018. This is a vertical scrolling bullet hell shooter. It's built on Asian mythology as you are to destroy a bunch of escaped yokai, which are demons in Japanese mythology if you're not familiar. Similar to a few other games of this list, you can fly close to enemies to fill your soul gauge, giving you a special attack and increase your score as well. The graphical style and soundtrack for this one are really good, but kind of like people were kind of mixed on the gameplay. It's like the reviews for it are kind of mixed, and I kind of have mixed mixed feelings too. Sometimes it plays really good. Sometimes it's just it's just it's a little bit spotty to be honest. Um, but this is the third entry in the Play exclusive series on the Nintendo Switch. It was limited to 3,000 copies. This edition was published by East Asia Soft and released in December of 2018. The lettering in the box is embossed. Uh, inside you get a certificate of authentication that is also embossed. The cover art for the game case differs from the box art. On the side of the case you get the number of the entry. The case has inside cover art, uh, which I think is really well done. And you also get a small 10-page game manual. And finally you get a physical CD soundtrack with 9 tracks on it. The inside and outside cover art of the soundtrack case is really nice as well and differs from the case art and the box art. You have to resort to eBay these days if you want to copy and completed listings of late are running in pretty much 70 plus dollar range so is where they're running at the time being. There is also a standard version as well um, and the print of this on the PS4. So you got the limited edition, standard edition on the Switch and on the PS4. So you can find it a couple different places. Next up we have ESP RADE or ESP RAID, however you like to pronounce this one. And this was released in December of 2019, and this is a port of the 1998 arcade shooter developed by Cave. This port was actually developed by M2, and it's a fantastic game. It's yet another, another vertical scrolling shooter where you select from different characters, which all have their own bullet patterns. This is the only Cave shooter on this list, and a must-own game uh, for any shooter fan, in my opinion. 
I really do like the cover art uh, for this physical and you have two options as you get a reversible cover art as well. There is no manual or art book but you get a player's guide insert. There is not a North American release of this game currently nor is it available in the North American eShop. Uh, ESP RAID or RAD is still available from Amazon Japan ranging between $64 to $75 plus shipping which is where I picked it up from. It is also available through PlayAsia at around $70 plus shipping. There is also a pricey collector's edition that I unfortunately missed out on and that will run you between $200 to $300. And of course there is a standard edition and a collector's edition available on the PS4 as well. All right, next up we have R-Type Dimensions EX, and this was released in November of 2018 on the Nintendo Switch. The game includes both R-Type and R-Type 2. The R-Type series really needs no introduction as they are just classical horizontal scrolling spaceship shooters. The difference here is that you can play in the original 2D graphical mode or a new 3D graphical mode. The cool thing is that you can swap between the two graphical styles on the fly during gameplay. Um, both games support this, uh, the graphical styles of 2D and 3D. And both games also play extremely well. If you are a fan of the series, then you should really have fun here. Uh, this is the Collector's Edition, uh, which was released from Strictly Limited Games. It was the 17th release from them. There were 2,000 copies released, and you get a hardcover collectible box with a slipcover, R-Type dog tags, two mini marquee stickers, uh, several collectible cards, the game itself with a case, and a hardcover art book which is really nice. This thing I'm not I'm not sure what the page count is but I say it's probably 40 40 50 plus pages. Really nice I work definitely like it. Uh, art type Dimensions EX actually originally released uh, on the Xbox Live Arcade but did not receive a physical. Um, this, I think, is actually the first physical release of this game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there is a standard edition on the Switch as well, and there's also a standard and a collector's edition for the PS4 as well. Completed listings on eBay for the Switch collector's editions are ranging between $130 to $200 plus dollars depending on condition and if it's new or not. Alright, on to the final game of the list, we got Steridon Binary Stars, which released in March of 2018. It's a horizontally scrolling pixelated roguelike shooter. This game is an absolute blast to play with a total of 5 playable ships, 42 weapon types, and over 30 upgrades. And on top of that, you have a saber that you can use to melee oncoming enemies. The soundtrack is also amazing, which I'm upset that they did not release a physical soundtrack for this as well. Um, the only downside to this game is that there are almost too many options that it could drive away shooting fans that prefer a more simplistic approach. The physical version was released by Super Rare Games and this was their ninth release and came out in January of 2019. It has a very nice cover art, you get four Super Rare trading cards, the inside cover art really does suck here, um, and you only get a two page manual which sucks as well. There was only 3,000 copies of this released and it is pretty collectible as completed listings on eBay are ranging anywhere as low as $120 to over $300, which is pretty ridiculous. It is a really good game and I would suggest picking it up, um, if nothing else, through the Nintendo eShop because you can find it five, between 5 to 12 13 bucks on the Nintendo eShop. I think it's actually 5 something currently. Um, but that is it. Um, let me know what you think. Like I said, I plan on making at least probably two more of these. At least one more. Definitely, yeah, definitely two and maybe even more than that. 
But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Later.